Oh man, <laughs> are you serious? Um, all right, so this is the location where I want to make our base. Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So, uh, in the last episode, I did say that we were going to set up a fabrication station. <laughs> or, yeah, a fabrication station, I might as well call it, or base. Uh, we were going to do it in the f grassland biomes, or forest biome, whichever you want. And uh, I finally decided that, no, we we're going to do it right here in the desert between the mountains, or the mountain biome and the desert biome. And right beside this trading station because the trading station we can always every morning we can check to make sure or to see what kind of blocks are for sale um, and then whenever we need to buy something and we can just buy it immediately right uh, we're gonna do a bunch of um, auto mining so we can you know get a bunch of big bucks uh, we're gonna do a bunch of selling that way gonna use the geocorp uh, what is it delivery cannons because that's gonna be cool but uh, it's not gonna happen this episode but either way, that's just what's in the future <laughs> as of right now. Um, we need to get the fabrication base up and running. And as you guys can see, there's like, this is tiny, puny. There's nothing going on here. Um, we got some, you know, what is it? Four pack silos with a small conveyor belt feeding uh, the Geocorp refinery and Geocorp fabricator. And then you got two GSO fabricators here. And the reason for this is because we need to get some conveyor belts going along with, um, what is it, the component factories? And then the component factories, we have to make the dongles for them. So there's a little bit of uh, collecting we need to do. Obviously, we need some rubber. Um, at the exact same time, we need to uh, make some lots of silos so we can start packing a lot of stuff into this base. Um, but yeah, I just wanted... Uh, we're going we're gonna to fill this up, um, but I built this harvester for the moment. Um, as you guys can see, what we have the GSO or Geocorp SCU on the front. Um, some shielding on the side, bunch of uh, resource collectors on the back and top here. All the panels on the back. Uh, I was going to go with the Cerberus uh, drill head on the front here. Unfortunately, it's just too heavy this far out, so it brings the whole um, tech down. On, so it's all nose heavy and it's just always dragging against the ground. It's going to cause nothing but issues in the, in the end. Um, I did put the Geocorp rotating anchor block right on the very front here. Because, you know, it's, it is, I'm pretty sure this point where it is, is always going to be the closest to the ground. Therefore, it's always going to be the point that wants to anchor in the quickest, right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, we need to, I need to go and collect a bunch of rubber. Um, yeah, rubber, some resources. Pretty much anything that I can find in the uh, right out in front of us. We do have, uh, we are running with uh, the Jaws wheels, which I'm actually kind of surprised that they're sparking right now. I would have thought they would have been able to handle the weight that we have on this guy, no problem, but... Alright. Now, let's see. Uh, we fit, the top here is full of uh, mini mortars. I want to see how well... Close range, not that great. A little bit. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Hard to tell exactly when... Uh, uh, when to stop firing with them though. Alright. And look at this. Oh, there we go. Issues right away. Alright, so I'm going to collect a little bit of rubber during the night. Uh, get some of these conveyor belts up and running. Maybe uh, start fabricating our uh, component factories and dongles. And then I'll bring you guys back. Alright, so we made the biggest mistake. <laughs> well, I guess it's not the biggest mistake. But it was one that I should have known not to have made. Um, and that is where our base was we were no longer we were nowhere close to carbite and we all know that that is like uh i'd say carbius is probably the hardest resource to find because of two well just for the, the two reasons right uh it's either in the salt flats or it's in the ice biome and if you're not by either one of those then you know you got a, quite the trek to find it right and as you guys can see, we are, well, if you guys look right now, we are, what, minus 479 and 3716 away from, or, that's the location we are right now. When we get back to the base, I will show you the guys the, number, the numbers or the coordinates. But yeah, we are almost a full day's drive straight north of the base. Um, 
I probably should have actually gone the opposite way and gone south of the base. It probably would have been quicker. Either way, uh, we got some Carbius. I wanted to go with more, but we don't have a scrapper yet. <laughs> uh, so, and we only have two auto miners, and it takes so long to mine stuff with just two auto miners. I'm glad we have two and not just one. Um, I spent all night with the auto miners. Uh, and as you guys can see, like there's barely any Carbius bricks on here, so it is what it is. We're going to have to make a bunch of uh, auto miners when we get back to base. Um, well, we got to get the component factories up and running, and then we'll get the, uh, the auto miners going. Because I, th I think we only need about two component factories right off the bat, and then we should be fine. Uh, to get things going, but yeah, we are going to have to move the base um, Like even up even up around here. It would be great uh, But yeah, because we're going to Be using pretty much only geocorp blocks for the most part uh, going back and forth to the Salt flats <laughs> From the direction we're heading it's just gonna take too long. Uh, we're not gonna be flying. We're not going to be you know, we don't have Geocarp does have some fast tires, but not that that many, right? Also, I forgot uh, about the Caterpillar uh, wheels. Uh, we're going to try those out, or we're going to use them as soon as we get a full set. But yeah, I'm going to drive all day back to the base, and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Finally. <laughs> it didn't take us as long to get back as it did for us to get there, obviously, because we, we weren't searching. But uh, yeah, it was definitely... A while um, but <laughs> as you guys can see it's a uh, minus 2,000 minus uh, oh yeah minus 1,906 minus 1,031 and we were at 0 and 4,323 where I found the, uh, the carbide what was that that we just made I didn't notice it uh, I think it was an auto miner wasn't it did we luck out and was it the auto miner? So yeah, now we have another mod auto miner. Anyways, I'm going to start getting these uh, component factories going and uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, so we got the <laughs> our first couple of uh, component factories going along with uh, the, what is it, the very first uh, dongle. Uh, and now I'm going to go into a little bit of mass production of, what are they, the, Sorry, uh, of the auto miners. I'd like to get at least 10. Uh, yeah, I'd say at least 10 just because they are going to be kind of important, or they are important, um, especially uh, since we can. I built the. Sorry, the GSO scrapper also. Uh, I, I was going to make the Geocorp scrapper, but I think I'll just wait and do that later on. Um, as you guys can see, we're having not too much of a problem. I like now with the pacemaker block and everything, uh, we are really crafting up a storm. Let's just check to see how many... Okay, we already made... nine. Uh, oops. And eleven. Anyways, uh, the reason that I want so many uh, automires is obviously so we can have a large amount of resources, but uh, what we want um, is to kind of make a self-sufficient uh, harvester in the end. I want to make a harvester that obviously has a large... Uh, amount of space or is taking up a large amount of space so that we can go out um, pick up all of our resources that we harvest and then turn them all into bricks and then come back and fabricate whatever we want um, obviously that doesn't work with everything turning everything into bricks because there are quite a few uh, resources that actually do not allow us to uh, <laughs> turn them into bricks what are we at for auto minus 13 14, 15, 16, yeah, like that, we'll let them finish these, these ones off, and we're going to start working on, since we have the auto miners now, we're going to start working on uh, the new bricks, or blocks, sorry, for Geocorp, um, there is a couple of them at the, I think it's the lower tiered ones, that uh, don't require, or yeah, see they're not, uh, Refined, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to hopefully this one. Okay, that's refined. So these two sets, unfortunately, do not allow for 
you know, they're not refined or un they're unrefined resources. So <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, it just makes it a little bit harder for us. Uh, don't make that mistake, you guys. If you got a scrapper, just make the fiber on uh, blocks. I completely forgot that uh, we had a scrapper <laughs> for the GSO. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Is just taking all the wood that we had in there and I'm just turning it into fiber on trunks now. Um, better that than just, you know, slowly selecting one piece at a time. What is so, there's so much of it that it's going to be, it's going to just going to cause us a problem anyways. It's going to always plug up the filters or the, the silos. So yeah, just best just to make a couple of, uh, fiber on chunks or blocks. All right. So we got, uh, quite a few things, uh, blocks made. We made nine of the half corners, uh, 10 of the half block. And I think I got, yeah, we made one long half block. Also, uh, it looks like we're able to actually buy some here and there. Uh, ooh, they have six available. We better... And we'll just anchor in. Kinda... I think it's, it's interesting and I understand... Uh, or I kinda understand why, uh, TerraTech did it. Or the devs did it where they put the... Well, you just anchor in. <laughs> now because of the... Watch, because of that... Yeah, because the Cerberus, it doesn't want to anchor in. Interesting, hey? <laughs> Probably because it sees the bottom of the Cerberus just a little bit closer to the ground. Anyways, uh, I can understand why they didn't make the SCU grab over here, but it's still, you know, it, it'd be nice. <laughs> uh, but I do understand. Uh, either way, let us like this. Uh, yeah, we're going to purchase as many of these blocks as possible because be they don't... Uh... Oh, come on. Now we're not close enough, you guys. Because, uh, what is it? Uh, they require unrefined um, resources. And for us to, like, I have to take the Cerberus off again. Now I should just leave it off. Uh, nah, I'll just leave it how it is for the moment. Either way, um, yeah, it's because obviously unrefined resources, they're harder to transport around. And I, well, we're about to move. We are going to move to the salt flats that we found. Um, so we have uh, all the extras that I cut. We, uh, or extra blocks, I guess, the carbos, uh, the, the resource blocks. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time talking today. <laughs> the resource blocks, uh, we turned them into, well, we made as many as we could. So we have one uh, Plumbia, you know, five Fibron, uh, Luxian, Elastic and a rubber, right? Uh, I wish we had more, but that is what it is. We can also buy those from the trading station if need be. But I also want to make a ton of money because if we're going to be purchasing these blocks more than we are going to be making them, um, we're going to need a lot of money, right? <laughs> it's just that simple. Also, with the resources, we're going to have to purchase those too. Uh, yeah, let's go like this. Uh, oh, that's 10,000. Oh, I thought it was a thousand. Oh, all right. Well, there goes all our money. <laughs> Actually, so we're not going to move to that, uh, the new base yet, I guess. Um, I think. Uh, I thought there was a forest biome really closely, close to us here. But maybe I'll just go over to this elastic mine. That we have, I'll mine it out. Uh, actually, no, we're going through a uh, wood biome to... To the new area so i will get us to the forest biome and then we'll start mining making money i'll show you that setup all right there we go there's the setup i didn't know this i thought uh the geocorp uh, delivery cannons uh were open on all four sides or they had the delivery ports on all side all sides but it's not it's only on two sides so kind of cool um yeah as you guys can see that the money hasn't changed how much you get from um Green resource of Rudiate or whatever. Uh, let's see. Right there. Yeah. You're right, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, uh, it doesn't change. Uh, it's still 233 uh, big bucks for every, or block bucks, for every uh, resort or refi refined resource that is sold. Um, it's going to take quite a while for us to even empty this mine here 
But what we should have, I think we did the math. I think it was 220,000 big bucks if we were to stay the whole time. But um, I've said it in the past, it's not worth it if you don't have, I'd say you need at least a minimum of 30 to do the whole mine uh, efficiently. Otherwise, like right now, it's probably going to take about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes with uh, 16, I believe it was, auto miners. So, you know, it takes quite a bit of time just to do it. You have like 30 to 50, um, I don't know, two or three minutes. <laughs> Actually, 30 is about uh, five minutes, and I'd say about 50 is, yeah, two minutes. To, eh, maybe a little bit longer. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I should take a stopwatch one day and just uh, check them all out or check out the difference. But yeah, either way, still making lots of money. Uh, I'm not going to mine this completely empty. We're just going to, you know, make a good chunk of money and then we'll move on. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys at the new location after I'm done here. Oh man. <laughs> Are you serious? Um, all right, so this is the location where I want to make our base. But obviously we have an invader popping in right on top of us. Uh, I think that's a little unfair, but you know, it is what it is. I don't know if we can... I wonder if we have turret Joe. We do have him. We only have one of them, but he'll definitely help. Maybe. <laughs> so let's see. All right, so what we're working with or fighting against isn't that bad. Doesn't look like it. Uh, these mini mortars, I completely forgot to say, you guys. Ooh, that's a lot of rail guns. I didn't think we were going to be dealing with that. Anyways, the mini mortars are pretty crazy with uh, how accurate they've become and the damage they deal. Now I feel like I'm playing cross out because we're running into the guy to keep him <laughs> off balance. There we go. And then, what? That's kind of unfair, isn't it? <laughs> Being attacked by two different tucks. At least we brought Turret Joe in. Uh, if we didn't have him. <laughs> Actually, it's always nice. Um, this is something uh, everybody should do right off the bat. I'm not saying with Turret Joe, but uh, overall, you should make a turret that you can call in just for these kind of circumstances if you need, if you think you're going to need uh, some backup. Um, always with an invader. There's always that chance that they're going to show up and they're just going to destroy you, right? So it is a, a good thing to have something like that in place. <laughs> but anyways, like we already got some uh, Hawkeye railguns. That's awesome. Uh, look at this Geocorp SCU. Just the reach that it has. Like, kind of interesting. It picks stuff up and then it'll drop it. Um, I think it might be because there's like a limit. See, although, no, it can't be a limit. I don't know what it is. You guys saw that those three pieces were picked up and dropped. Anyways, this is uh, the salt flats where we're going to make our base now. Uh, and I think it's actually in probably the perfect place. Uh, we have the mountain biomes, mountain biome right here, desert right there, forest right there, and obviously the salt flats. Uh, it looks like there's some more mountain biome back here. And I know there's a bunch more over here. Uh, so, like, we're gonna, we have all the resources available to us that we need. Um, look at all that money that's just sitting there waiting to be refined. <laughs> refined and sold. But, uh, yeah, this is where we're going to build our base. I'm not 100% sure, or the fabrication base. I'm not 100% sure where in it. Um, I might uh, take a venture to see how far it goes up. Maybe there's a, a trading station. I would like to be close to a trading station, but if it, if we're not, we're not. That's all there is to it. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode, you guys. So if you guys like the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.